Okay, for this video, I'm going to make blueberry jam. And I have some picked blueberries from my dad. He has a bunch of blueberries. And you're going to need um, some sugar and some lemon juice. And these are the only main products that you have to have. Okay, what I like to do is just pour them out like that. You can cut these up or however you want to do it. I used to cut them up, but you don't, you don't have to. I don't really measure on how much sugar I put in here. Uh, most people would probably say like a cup or two cups, something like that. But I usually just pour it over there like that. Kind of shake them around. Pour it. Because this is, this is what makes your jam awesome. And then for the lemon juice, I don't put a lot there. And then we're just going to let that sit for an hour. And we'll see you back in an hour. Okay, now that these have set for an hour, or however long you want them to set for, but they need to at least set for an hour, we're going to take them and put them in a big pot. You want to make sure you use a big pot because if you don't, it will rise up. Just pour them in there like that and put it on like a medium six. And the trick here is to continue stirring. You want to keep stirring, stir, stir, stir. Keep stirring it. And you want to set your timer for 25 minutes. There. Well. And you also have to make sure you um, boil some water to put in your containers for your jam because it helps sterilize the uh, container it's in. And you need to make sure that you put a plate in the freezer so you can taste your jam when you get through doing this. But basically all this is is just continuing stirring. Stir, stir, stir. Because once it burns, you're done. You just gotta keep stirring. Stir, stir. continuous stir and then you can kind of see the sugars in there starting to get like a darker color on them but you'll see that it'll start thickening up and it'll go through the stage that looks kind of foamy When it starts getting bully though, we'll have to turn it down and probably remove it off the eye because if it burns, you're done. And that would be a big waste of blueberries. Plus this jam is so good. Just keep stirring it. Apple tunnel from starting so much. So you can kind of see some steam coming off of it. Let me go ahead and cut this heat down just a little bit. Just keep stirring. See, you can tell when you just keep stirring it and that heat. To it, it'll make it go the way you want it to because you'll be like, oh, there it is doing it. See, look at that. See it thickening up now? So you've basically taken two solid things, heated them up, and turned them into a kind of liquid thing because the sugar's melting. That's exactly right. And then the blueberries are releasing some of the juices into the sugar. That's that's my husband talking. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know that, but that's him. I don't have two different voices. <laughs> but yes, you can start to see that it is 
getting thicker now, which is awesome because once it starts getting thicker, then you won't have to do it much longer, but you'll still have to continue to stir it till you're 25 minutes or longer is a now, what do we do with the boiling water? You have to put it in the cup. Put it into the container yes. that you're going to use. And I'll just continue stirring this. And we fill that up. I'll put this back on here. And sometimes, like, you can tell when it starts getting done because uh, the bubbles that actually form in here make a different noise. But this smells so good. God, it smells so good when it starts steaming. And you can actually do any kind of berry you want this way. If you like strawberries, strawberries are really good to do. Um, I've not done blackberry yet. I want to do blackberry because I love blackberries. Like I said, just keep stirring. It's really worth the stir. Because it is so good on some biscuits. Stir, stir, stir. Probably won't make y'all watch this whole stir process for another 20 minutes, but this is pretty much what you keep doing. You stir it, stir it. Did I mention you stir? Look at that pretty color. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the uh, process of the um, turning the color from the light purple to the darker looking purple. You want to keep stirring it because if you don't stir it and it burns, you are done. But this smells really good. We're about 17 minutes in on the stirring, so. About a little while, it should be looking more thicker we are at nine minutes now and your jam should start looking thicker like this and blueberries should start breaking down they should be like mushy like um, just continue stirring but this is well worth the stir because it is so good it's a lot of stirring though Okay, we are about at four minutes now, and we are almost done with this, but you can tell it has gotten really thick. And, um, it smells really good. Uh, should be almost done, so we can pull our plate out of the freezer in just a minute and test it. But... This is almost done, and we're about to be at the exciting part, which is you get to eat it. It don't last very long in my refrigerator, because everybody seems to like it here. These will also store up to six months, so just make sure you write the date on the top, but at my house, it don't last that long. But if you're by yourself, it may last longer. Lucky to get six hours. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. You should definitely try it if you get some free time and have some berries that you really like. But like I said, just continue stirring and we are going to uh, do the test plate. Normal plate, been in the freezer. Turn that off. Okay. How I like 
like to test it is run my finger through it like that. That is hot. But as long as it don't touch each other like that, that's how you can tell it's done. If the uh, stuff comes back and touches each other, it's not done. But this jam is done. I will empty the boiling water. Okay. I like to keep stirring because it, if you don't stir it, it can still stick. So while you're pouring this in here, be really careful because it can be messy and it's hot. So just kind of take your time. You ain't got to be in no big rush. Use your little spoon to help push the uh, jam out. Don't be in a big hurry though, because when you get in a hurry, then that's when you start making messes. And this jam is actually for my sister Amanda, so I hope you enjoy this. Probably get a little bit more in there. Yeah, there we go. And then we just put the uh, good old lid on it. Like I said, you want to put this in the refrigerator because it's got to be put in the refrigerator. It can't be out of the refrigerator. But that's how you do it. And it stores up for six months. That's how I make my blueberry jam. <laughs>